Uh, hi guys so this is my first uh, brushless uh, build so this is part one of the uh, series so i'm just gonna demonstrate the uh, blaster and uh, part two i'll dismantle it and um, i'm now trying to prepare all the files uh, for the 3d printer part to be put it up uh, to be placed at the, my thing give us account so by part two uh, when i'm doing the dismantling i'll basically just uh, release the file as well so this is my first uh, brushless build okay so uh, by the way you can follow me on instagram so most most of the time i'll post my update uh, on projects on my instagram so first of all let me just place the battery in so i want it to be able to house a big battery hence the decision of making it at the side okay so the sound you heard is basically the esc all right so now we have uh, placed the battery in so uh, there is a on off switch at the side so to on the system you have to switch it on now the ESC is on so uh, I'm gonna ref the system it, it might be a little bit loud so you can see that uh, it's actually very fast the response time right yeah so let's that's what i like about the uh, brushless setup the uh, basically the rough is very responsive when you want to ref so for this setup basically i uh, 3d model my own cage and wheel so uh those who follow me on my instagram will know that uh, it is not the highest crush uh that i go for basically this is the first uh, try so um i'm going to be conservative right now uh do something that's not so uh, high crash so from my testing uh basically i test with waffle dart uh mangan darts and of course the uh the acufake so i realized the acufake is the best so far so you can see now so it's pretty responsive yeah so some of the parts i make is basically just the motor cover so that it promotes some airflow and uh, of course uh, over here it house the Arduino and the ESC and I have a uh, I don't want the wire to be all internal so you can see there's a wire that leads through here and then over the way to the other side hence this attachment itself will just uh, cover it and uh, of course the attachment itself is still capable of taking a stock extension sorry like this so you can still see that you can still take a uh, extension like this okay not a problem okay okay so this is the uh, demonstration uh, of the uh, brush this uh, setup that I have okay so uh, for the part two i'm going to do the dismantling so uh and i'm going to prepare all the files like for the this cover over here this piece over here this is actually a remix from uh the uh stuff i got from uh thing givers uh this is also from another uh model uh that i got from the thing givers so i'll go through all this stuff uh some are something that i model so you can see that this is actually at an angle not sure sure you can see it's actually tilted at the angle because well, okay I, when i when we aim we want to slightly tilt the blaster a little bit at the angle so that you know, it, it's a projectile kind of thing i find that yeah, it's actually more accurate in that sense when i'm aiming for a long distance kind of a, a target <laughs> yeah so i'm also thinking for the um, part two i wanted to do a live stream well, then uh, I'll dismantle and uh, go people from the chat can actually ask me some questions then part 3 I'll basically probably go to let me see part 3 is probably the um, circuit uh, how to wire it up and then uh, all the, the 
the staff you know, or the connection and all and then part four will be probably the uh, programming involved so this is a very simple programming whereby you only take care of the revving <coughs> right so yeah so i'm tungsten thanks for watching and uh if you have not subscribed do subscribe to support the channel thank you